Like on 650 Gaming here, and welcome back to another episode of American Truck Simulator Mods. So in the last episode, we checked out that Volat thing, prototype mods or whatever, and it wasn't able to actually pick up any cargo. So today we're checking out our new mod, and we're doing it a little bit differently because reasons. So yep, we're checking out this big blue trailer. No, we're checking this thing out. This is an Oshkosh Defense Hemt. A4, H-E-M-T-T -T is the hemmed part. And that act, hold on. Hemmed actually stands for Heavy Expanded Mobility Tactical Truck. And, uh, so yeah, and the A4 series of this particular hemmed started in July of 2006, so it's actually a little bit old, but it comes with composite armor from the factory, so that's pretty sweet. Uh, sometimes, I mean, I don't, I don't fucking know. The original hemmed was released in September of 1982. All of this information will be in the description. I just happen to really need some filler because I just tried to record this and at some point I must have stopped the recording while I was moving my keyboard. So yeah, there were like zero options on this thing. There was some interior stuff and then I can change the tires. That was about it. But let me go over all the things I've discovered so far, or thus far. It has one reverse, two lows, a one low, one high, a two low, and a two high. And that is it. There's no third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, or eighth high and low. There is just low low, low high, one low, one high, two low, two high, so that's interesting. So let's see here. Uh, right. Alrighty then, so that's an issue. So the uh, truck does not appear to support the advanced coupling thing. So I gotta turn that off real quick. Somewhere. If it's not even turned on now, I'm gonna be concerned. It's not, or it is, whatever. Okay. Okay, okay. All right, let's see how that looks. It doesn't look too ridiculous, just mildly. Don't worry about the barking dog. Alrighty, so let's try to drive this now. Now, originally I didn't even think to actually use the low gears to actually start moving, so I was relying only on the clutch. I have... oh jeez. Alright, so this requires a lot of... A lot of work to shift, apparently. And of course, it's a mile long, so. Yeah. Alrighty then. This will definitely be a bit of a challenge to drive, but I'm up for it. Listen to the horn. Now that is a horn. It's pretty depressing. There's also this one, though. So yeah, and it's got an interior mirror that looks outside, because why not? Alright, so... To shift into the next gear, you gotta go to low and then... Like that, alright. So it shifts around the same RPM, it's, it's just a lot more of a pain. I'm not too sure about the... Um, ability of this thing to go on the highway. Uh, I don't know how it's going to handle 55 to 80. I definitely don't think it's going to be able to handle 80. But I mean, we can get some pretty low RPM on there, I guess, so that's pretty good. I can't see what the RPM is, and the speedometer is in kilometers per hour. So that's kind of really useless to me. But, you know, whatever. <laughs> All in all, though, it seems like a fairly decent truck. 
I don't think I would use it normally, but whatever. Oops. Oh, don't do that to me, man. Nice Wrangler. So yeah, it definitely takes a lot to get this thing to start shifting and moving and everything. But I've already kind of gotten the hang of the shifting of it. I guess it is kind of a six speed in a way. It's just a very strange six speed. See if I can downshift or upshift, dumbass. All right, not bad. Not bad at all. It's got a retarder on it, so that's nice. How about it? Jake brake? I don't know, actually. I forgot that button wasn't actually set up. So, never mind that then. So yeah, there were bigger tires and some smaller tires I could put on this. I just went with the pretty much standard tires, though. And this is a fairly short thing, um, trip. I don't actually know why I still have this on here. Uh, yeah, we can kind of take a real quick... Oh, I remember, or I know why I had that on there, because the speedometer. I'm going to take a quick look around this thing. So it's fairly long. We've got lots of lights on top, but we can only use those top lights with the high beams on, which is that button. And then the turn signal... Yeah. Turn signal makes every single light on the front of it blink orange. So that's interesting. But now we gotta try to get up to 55. I also have absolutely no... Oh, there's, this, there's the fuel gauge. Alright. Yeah. You know, if I remember correctly, the top speed of this thing was like 60-something. So... That's concerning struggling to hit 55 right now. Yeah, I have, a, uh, yeah, I have a whole page of notes. But I failed to put the uh, minimum speed, or the max speed, I suppose. Actually, I should stop and rest first. So let me enter through the do not enter. This thing kind of wobbles. Hopefully it's something that wobbles but doesn't fall down. Because if it falls down, we're going to have some issues. Straight now, straight now, straight now. Eh, good enough. Really? Can I not sleep here? Are you going to do it like that then? Don't hit that gas trailer, please. Alright, so one of the nice things about this truck is the fact that um, the front of it is pretty much where the windshield is. Don't do that. Let's just try this instead. Uh, and that's nice because I get a fairly good idea of where the well, front of the truck is so I don't drive into people as much. Hey. Alright, parking brake is there, turn it off. Yeah. Alright, it's now pretty much midnight, so that's awesome. It's now minutes to midnight. Eh? Uh, get it? Oh, it's got a little shifting diagram thing over there that I can't see. Yeah, I really don't like the steering wheel, but I could not change it. A, it fucks with my OCD, and B, it's really, really in the way of everything. There's no good way of backing this thing out, honestly. There's no good way of backing any semi out of that space there. What do I do? My headlights on. Not the. Oh. 
that isn't the high beams. All right. That works for me. I mean, whatever. There it is. All right, it's supposed to go to one low. Jeez, this shifting pattern thing is super weird. Uh, I don't think I'm going to drive all the way to the place in this video. I think I'm just going to, you know, give a general overview of it. It definitely works better than the uh, prototype Maz Volat thing, which I could not really find much information on. Oh, and if you're interested, I, uh, I use Wikipedia for my information. Yeah. Yeah, I'm real professional that way, you know? I mean, it works, right? Alright, here we go. Oh, you're gonna make me stop at the, uh, thing, aren't you? Way station, too. Hi, Ossifer. These are some damn bright headlights. I kinda like it. Alright, we're able to do 56. Let's hold our uh, 57 there. So, I will try to get to the way station, and then I'll probably end the episode there. Unless there isn't actually a way station. Why don't I actually check? Okay, there is a way station. It shouldn't be too terribly long. So, I mean, it's definitely got some wobble to it. And it does have a retarder, which is kind of nice. Um, that'll definitely be good with the cruise con or yeah with the cruise control. It'll actually be able to slow itself down. Um, I didn't entirely expect it to actually be able to move cargo. I was expecting it to do the same exact thing as the other one. I mean, it doesn't look normal, and you'd be getting about three miles per gallon if you're lucky, because you've got a giant wall there. You really don't realize how short this thing is compared to like any other of the semis we've ever looked at ever even slightly I mean look at that guy he's not that much shorter than I am yep I'm curious to see how much this thing weighs yeah it didn't need to be that long I have a feeling this weighs a lot but like I said, there was pretty much nothing that I could even do with this thing. Like, I couldn't change much of anything on it. It's going to be one of the few vehicles where it's going to be easy to do 15. Alright, let's see how much this thing weighs. 95,000 pounds. That's reverse. Alright, well, that's going to do it for this. I'll get this little thing here. Uh, there were a few options for paint, most of which were quite unpleasant, but there was the classic, you know, tan color. Um, uh, yeah, that's... That was this thing, the uh, Oshkosh Defense Hemp A4. Yep, the Oshkosh. Uh, this thing is relatively mine-resistant, I believe, and fairly heavily used in the military I believe still I don't know that it's used by America I'm not sure about that I think we have our own shit usually by international because they're apparently the only people who make trucks whatever um, but it's definitely a beast of a truck like it probably says in the descriptions it's been used for simply a fuel truck to a FAD missile launcher, whatever that means. Basically, it's a missile launcher, that's the important part, to even a freaking fire truck. So you can go start a fire with a missile launcher, and then you can dump some fuel, ignite it with the missiles, and then put the fire out with the fire truck. It's great, right? Eh? And apparently it also works with a fifth wheel and cargo. It's... Definitely, like I said, it's a shiznit ton shorter than all the other ones we've ever checked out, but whatever. But, uh, so yeah. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and leave a like. If you didn't, don't leave a like. I'll see you in the next video.